the bow. Happy Valentine's in areas. How was your celebration? Hmm. I promise you, I say we will see different uh, celebration. But guess what? I am sorry to disappoint you. Nobody do any celebration. No? <laughs> They say money no day, let me buy phone. I carry camera, they walk out everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I don't see anywhere, I don't see anything with our record. I'm telling you, it was that bad. Everybody just respect themselves, stay inside house. But it's possible that there was or uh, there were celebrations or but I don't know of anyone, nobody called me. Eh? So the permanent place is where we know say that they celebrate Valentine. We got there and nothing was happening. Ah Woo God. So the question is which way Nigeria? Which way Nigeria? Which way to go? Where will they go? For how long we, are we going to continue to to suffer? So today we know if we see money, take to for and everybody they fear. Even when you have little cash on you, you know if you just want invest them for Valentine. For what now? Because you know that once you spend that cash, you might not get it again. Your own money. So my dear. Now, so we see the situation. So let's follow it the way it comes. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking from you. <laughs> One day at a time. It go better. It go better very, very soon. Yes. And um, that's it. We will continue to celebrate love. Love is something we celebrate every day of our lives. So it's not actually for only Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is just to remind us the meaning of love and why we should celebrate it. But talking about celebration of love, you have every day of your life to celebrate it. So if there was no one beyond that day, no problem, I'm not the best again because we celebrate love every day. Oh yes. And uh, I welcome you especially on tonight's show. Tonight's show is power packed. Why? Because we want to talk about skills that we should do and the ones we shouldn't do. Right? But the first on the line, which I'm sure we should talk about, is the one that is trending now, which is called the social workers. The social workers, the prostitutes, those ones that feel that that is another good way of making money. You know? You will ask, why is this lady saying this thing? Yes, because on this show, I will always tell you, we encourage you to do the right thing, to go learn a skill, to involve yourself in a business that will give you money rather than depending on others. But it's like uh, prostitution is now one of the skills or one of the professions that actually gives school cash. And that is why they have traffic in that, in that uh, kind of profession. But what we are yet to know is if prostitution is legalized already in Nigeria. I never know. But for us to get the answer to this question, right, we need to consult the legal practitioners. Now, during the week, we got a, a breaking news of a case that was taken to court in Abuja, stating that a prostitute uh, sued a man to court for, not, for refusing to pay her the agreed fee after services and also did not just end there the man also so stole her phone her cell phone her iphone worth of 200 and something thousand hello now the question is who is taking who to court is prostitution legalized is this something that the court can hear or not but before we continue on this show and to know which one is correct, which one is right, and which one is wrong. We will go on a short break, and when we come back, we just immediately start because the thing just tire me. I beg, I will always want. I encourage you to get skilled. I encourage you to do so many things, but not this type. Because I encourage you to work hard, to work hard, to be creative. This is not part of the skill acquisition I have been encouraging you to have. <laughs> All right, we will go on this break. When we come back, we will continue from well. The Bolder. Oh, Delta State, no big heart. As we go into the 2023 Nigeria's general election, 
we call on all registered voters in Delta State to rise up to our collective responsibilities to elect leaders with passion and sincerity of purpose to fulfill God's intent of creation upon our lives as individuals and as a nation. As you step out to the polls on Saturday, February 25th to elect our presidential and federal representatives and also on March 11, 2023 for our gubernatorial and state house of assembly elections, let's abide by the INREC rules, avoid violence as we search for a better Nigeria. Let's bear it in mind that we owe it a duty to be civil in our conduct and deeds. Voting is a civic sacrament. The future of Nigeria is in your hands. Vote wisely. This message is brought to you by the Delta State Chapter of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations. Signed, Godfrey Osakwe, Chairman, NIPR Delta State Chapter. The All right, welcome to your favorite show, The Boldest TV Show. Thank you, NIPR, for that message. NIPR means the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, Delta State Chapter. That message came right on time. Yes, let's vote wisely because, uh, like I said, no, be waiting, we don't put ourselves. What we are suffering now won't suffer. So, if you don't want it to repeat itself, this is the time to vote wisely. Fighting will not, I repeat, fighting will not give you the results you need. Violence will not give you the results you need. You need to organize yourself and let there be peace. We are not fighting for anything. This country belongs to us. Thank you so much, NIPR. Thank you. I am proud. And on tonight's show, we have a lawyer who is going to help us to answer this question. Of course, he... He was interviewed on this matter and here is what he has for us. Please, let's listen closely because I have stated the case. The case is that a lady sued a man for not paying her the agreed amount he should pay after rendering her body to the man. And the man did not end there. He also stole her phone, right? So, let's hear from our legal practitioner. Let's get a stake if it is allowed hmm, or not. Please join me as we listen to him. The Bold. As far as I know, uh, prostitution uh, is illegal in Nigeria and in the FCT. Uh, there, there are two kinds of it, and all over the world there seems to be a differentiation of two kinds of prostitution. The first, um, uh, what is prostitution, is basically a man or a woman who is offering uh, sexual services in exchange for uh, some consideration, some money. Uh, some prostitution is done in private, where people arrange um, uh, between two adults, or sometimes between, uh, you know, they have middle men or women in between, and they go into private confines uh, to exchange sexual, sexual gratification for money. When I say illegal, uh, it means that I've got to find a basis in the laws to say that. So uh, I, I use that term loosely in that sense. But what is illegal is curb crawling. And I've heard uh, curb crawling is soliciting for sex in a public place. So if a lady dresses up uh, in skimpy clothes and is hanging around, in, around uh, hot spots uh, looking for uh, customers, if I may call them that, then that in itself is illegal because she is openly soliciting for uh, sexual favor in exchange for money. I checked through the 1999 constitution and uh, as amended, and I have seen nothing. The constitution is very, very quiet and silent. In fact, doesn't have anything to say when it comes to prostitution. I have looked through the criminal code, which regulates criminal activities in the South. I have looked into the penal code, which regulate, regulates criminal activities in the North, including FCT. And I've looked through AGJA, Administration of Criminal Justice Act. And this um, 
legis subsidiary legislators, legislations rather, that have anything to do with or talk about anything to do with it. So let's take section 223, 224, 225 of um, the criminal code. All the, that says is basically talking about pimping, right? So do not take a girl or a female out and for, as a sex toy to make money, right? To cure somebody as a sex tool or a sex toy, you know? And all that brothels and ev everything. In the criminal, in the penal code that regulates Abuja, FCT and, and, and the rest of the other mm -hmm. northern states, the only thing you will find is in section 201 which is the closest you'll find punishment for, brot for owning a brothel and all that. So in the general sense of it, what you have is not a law. All right. Mm, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that uh, contribution and giving us that headway. Of course, in, for now in Nigeria, we don't know if prostitution is legalized. And we also do not know if it is a crime, yes. Because if you ask me personally, yeah, in fact, on today's matter, I'm supposed to have a guest so we can get a different opinion because there is nobody who is an encyclopedia. So that is why we all have rights to our opinions, right? Good. Now, from my own side, my own opinion, I feel that prostitution is a crime. So a criminal cannot take a criminal to court. Two criminals jam. <laughs> so who wants sue who? Criminal jam criminal, who goes sue who? I am a prostitute and you too, you are a criminal. How are you a criminal? Because after our agreement, you refused to pay me, you even stole my property. Now who they take who to court? Now this case is supposed to be heard in court if at the end of the day we discover that prostitution is legalized in Nigeria. So it's a legal profession and that man should be sued for breach of contract. But if also we discover that prostitution is a crime and the man also is a criminal, the prostitute is a criminal, how can a criminal sue a criminal? Is it not an opportunity for these two criminals to face a... Uh, 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 their, their rightful punishment rather than coming to embarrass each other you know so this is my own take on it let's allow nigerians to find out let us find out if this thing is uh, legalized but even if it is is it a good thing nobody is perfect Estishan is not perfect but out of the entire business in this whole world is prostitution the best is it the best and the only option to earn a living? <laughs> I did say I enter commercial bus at Tego somewhere. So on my way back, that was a few days ago, we were discussing from old money to new money and so many things. And at the end of the day, we dived into, there was a joke that uh, actually has connection to do with our discussion today. And, um, the lady was sharing her experience. She, she sells hair, she's a stylist, and um, she, she has a customer who, who does this social work. Maybe, maybe we'll give them level social work, yes. And um, because she likes the customer, she said one day she decided to advise her, like, hey, boo, you see, I know saying a condition make you to do this kind of thing. Can you come, let me teach you this, my skill, this uh, uh, hairdressing skill. I will teach you for free, like free. And you can be working here just come since you're living close but she got the shock of her life the girl was like go for a beat go for a beat ah i no go feel for long now they do this kind yeah yeah work which hand no i no come so far waiting now they do it they okay by me now my body now me no as i want you to take get money i beg i no come this life come so far <laughs> Oh, so as you can see, you that is out there doing the right thing, they say you guys are suffering. You are suffering yourself. You're suffering your delicate skin. You're supposed to be doing soft touch. And then who told you that social work or prostitution, sleeping with different men and different women? Sorry, we are looking at prostitution, not on just women, uh, the aspect of women, both male and women alike. 
you will be the man where they go patronize the woman. You view to be prostitute. The woman where they give you her body in a place. So I'm not just talking about women here. I'm talking about both the men and the women. This is not the best skill. We know men, fine boys. Boys, fine boys. Where we say, now they are work with this sugar mommy. Now the women, they even pay them. And they call it profession. So we are still here to know before we start condemning it. If it is legalized so that we can reshape our mouth. But until then, the question is out there for you to answer. Is this the best skill? No other skill again to do than to sell your body. Have you checked the spiritual implication? Have you checked the health implication? Have you checked your your life implication? I mean, with things that are happening right now, are you really safe with the unknown man and the unknown woman you are going out with? Like, one, one night stand. Do you really know that person? How secured are you in this aspect that I just mentioned? You know, so these are the things we put in check. Not just looking at it as a crime, not just looking at it as a sin, but let's look at it from all these angles. If it is okay by you, after all, there is no job without a, a, a risk. Why not? You can go ahead, right? So, but it's a pity to hear that. It's a pity, it's so shameful. So, I want to advise us, please. We have a lot of skills. We have NGOs out there. Government, let me be precise. The Delta State government is trying in terms of skill acquisition, right? So, all you need to do is stop complaining, stop giving excuses. Get yourself busy. Because an idle man is a devil's workshop. Get yourself busy. So, you don't have an excuse. Okay, ah, madam, leave this way they talk because life better for you. I don't even have money to eat, not talk of money to go and do agreement. We have opportunities, we have NGOs that are looking for people, following you guys up and down to come and learn skill for free. Seminars, different places every day, free of charge. Sorry, even online, you don't need to go anywhere. That same phone where they do hook up with data, use the data, go online, you will see free seminars, free skill acquisition lecture, everything you need now, you know. Internet has made it easy for us, so you do not have an excuse for crying out loud. Ah, I don't know where then they do. Go online, find out, go Google and ask questions. Google will give you direction. Everything is now possible with the internet. So, what is your excuse? What is your reason? So, the Borders TV show tonight is just out here to advise you. This video, when we come back, we we'll continue on our entertainment segment. Please stay tuned. The boat. Shrine. In a crest, are you? Amy. I say for the last time, get out of my shrine. No, come on, my shrine. Me. You want to expose me? Is it under the fire? You eh? If they do press up for some bitter forest, I swear. It's... My love, he killed him. He died. Let's <laughs> kiss, Papa kiss, let's kiss, Papa kiss, Papa kiss, let's kiss, Papa kiss. My people everywhere. My people everywhere. Let's kiss, Papa kiss, let's kiss, Papa kiss.
The Boldest. Right, welcome back to your favorite show, The Boldest TV Show. My mood has changed. Now I'm bright, yes. And we are moving straight to our entertainment segment where we will join the lover boys and lover girls that celebrated during this love week. Let's join them. They celebrated their birthdays in the person of one of my guests here, my best guest here, one of them, Mrs. Violet Wurus, celebrated on the Valentine's Day. That was her birthday, 14 February 2023. She celebrated her birthday. You are blessed, man. You are blessed. God loves you. Happy birthday in areas and happy Valentine in areas. Your future is blessed. I celebrate you. Yes. Also, one of our friends, Madame Franca. Madame Franca, she is the makeup artist on the Boldest TV show, the stylist on the Boldest TV show. She's my madame. Now, anything she do, now they do like that. My song, I go always sing. Anywhere you lead me, I go, go. Anything where she rough on my face, I go carry. Yes, so. Happy birthday, she celebrated also on that Valentine's Day, 14th February. Happy birthday in areas. God bless you, bless your new age. Also, we celebrate Mrs. Ngozi. We call her Selling Dion. <laughs> she also celebrated on Valentine's Day. Oh my god. Now I sit down here, they shall say, I know see me, I go for Valentine's Day. Why everybody around me did their birthday on the Valentine's Day? Die! You see, wait till this morning matter the cause. Because you know what? I know all these people who are just called their name. Like say not be this money matter away with the suffer right now, eh? Now as I they as I, as I they talk to you, so you go see say my cheeks don't fat. All the Valentine and birthday food where I go shop, you go just this show for my body. But this year, we don't see. So I want to say congratulations to all of you, congratulations to you, because this selling Dion. Oh yes, aka selling Dion 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 Dion. Happy birthday in areas and happy Valentine. God bless you and bless your new age. And to all you out there celebrated that I couldn't call their names, please, we did we did not forget you. Eh? We love you and we say happy birthday in our, and we say happy birthday in areas. God bless you and bless your new age. All right, and this is where we shut down tonight, promising you the best. A memorable program next week but before that next week let us solve our problem now make sure you send your questions regarding what we have discussed send your questions send your criticism send your contributions to me directly or to our social media platform the boldest TV show on Facebook on Instagram and on YouTube please make sure you comment like and subscribe oh yes Empower also can empower you and also we need sponsor here if you have goods and services that you need to sell This is the right place to sell your goods and services because we will sell it well 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 mm -hmm. Yes, so for calls for me to reach out to you Please dial my number that's already on your screen and I'll be there to answer your call Please make sure you identify a skill that is decent a skill that will fetch you money a skill that when you mention the name of the skill you are into, you will have your dignity intact. Please desist from any skill that will bring down, bring down your dignity, your integrity, and everything that you have as a human being. Yes. And until next week, same time, same station, I still remain your babe, your one, your one, not two the unchangeable, the babe that refuses to change. Oh yes, I remain the same. Esther Obiesie, aka Esther Shine, of your favorite show, The Boldest TV Show. Signing out. Ciao. Bye. I forget. The Boldest.